Hey folks, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to take you through how to use your calculator effectively. This is going to be pretty much a recap from National 5, but it's always worthwhile to look at the buttons again that are useful uh, in physics. So looking at the table then, you'll see that we start off with the times 10 to the X button or the EXP button, depending on what type of calculator you have. So remember for a Casio, if you're trying to use scientific notation and type that in to your calculator, you would use the times 10 to the power of X button. None of this typing the times button and then the one and then the zero and then the power button there's no need for that it's got buttons for it so you need to use them okay so times 10 to the x button for the casio and the exp button uh, for a sharp or a texit so if you wanted to input this really large number for example then you would type in 1.4725 and then the times 10 to the x button in your casio and then 14. But if you had a sharp or a texit, you would type in that number, then EXP, and then 14 to type your numbers in scientific notation. Uh, hopefully you remember that. Remember there is the S to D button as well, so this can change your fractions to decimals and back again. There is a certain mode on your calculator you can set it to, um, which will just kind of output your numbers, your answers in decimals anyway, and you don't need to worry about fractions. But remember that you should always avoid using the recurring dot. So you don't, we don't deal with fractions or the recurring dot. In physics, we tend to use decimals and we round our answers. So make sure you don't put the recurring dot in your answers. And there's also the X to the minus one button which is your inverse or reciprocal button. Remember, when doing things like resistance and parallel, you would have used this as one of your methods of inputting your one overs into your calculator. Um, it can also be useful for things like the period equation, but uh, when we do resistance and parallel again during the electricity topic, you'll get using that one. Uh, the ENG button, remember this is sort of like your engineering button that can put numbers into powers of three for you, like what we use for prefixes. So for example, if you had an answer of 42,500,000 hertz output on your calculator and you wanted to write that down in scientific notation, then what you could do is just press the ENG button and this will give you uh, this number here in a power of six. Uh, we would know that that is megahertz uh, if you remember your prefixes, but you wouldn't need to write your answer in megahertz you could just write down the number in scientific notation the last button just to remind you of is the fraction button i'm sure you're all used to using this in math and things like that uh, but remember this can be useful for lots of calculations in physics where you have a fraction okay if you didn't want to use a fraction remember you could use brackets instead okay to input things properly into your calculator so that's it from me guys i hope this video has been useful and i'll see you in the next one take care Whoa!